Hey what's up guys how's it going? Welcome to the two part video series where I will teach you how to upload images from your react app to Cloudinary. Before I tell you more about the application that we are going to build, let me give you a demo of it. So we have this application, we have this box, it says drag and drop some files here or click to select files. So I can drag and drop files here. So I will click on this box. So I have this wallpaper's directory. I have three images. I can drag and drop an image. I will close this. So we have this image displayed on the screen. If you like it, that's fine. If you don't like it, you can reset it. I will click on this box again. And now I will choose a different image. I will open it. And now we have a different image. If you are happy with this, you can click on submit and our buttons are disabled because we are uploading the image and our image is uploaded and you can see the image is removed because the image is already uploaded. You don't need that anymore. So basically we are going to build this. We are not going to implement a lot of validation stuff. We are only going to focus on the main thing, how to upload images from your react app. Now I mentioned that you will upload your images from your react app, but that's not hundred percent true because between cloudinary and our react app, we need a middleman. We need a backend server. Yes, you can upload your image directly from your react app, but that's not secure. You want to have a backend server in the middle. So basically we will take our image from our react app. We will send it back to our backend server and our backend server will be implemented with node. So our react app will send the image to our node server and our node server then will send it to cloudinary and cloudinary will store that image. Now I have mentioned cloudinary a lot. So let me show you what it is. So this is the homepage of cloudinary. Just go to cloudinary.com. So basically cloudinary is a cloud service where you can store your media files. You can store your images, you can store your videos too. Now Cloudinary gives us a lot of features. You cannot only store your images, you can also edit the images directly on Cloudinary or you can also edit the images on the request time. For example, if you have a image of a cat that is stored inside Cloudinary, but you want a circle image like this, you don't have to edit this directly on Cloudinary. You can specify some query parameters on the image URL and Cloudinary will edit those images on the request time. If you want to learn more about Cloudinary, just go to cloudinary.com. Now is Cloudinary free? No, Cloudinary is not free, but Cloudinary has a free plan and its free plan is more than enough. Basically you can have all of those features that a premium plan has but you can only use those features up to a certain limit. If you cross that limit, you have to purchase it. Okay, so basically this is Cloudinary. If you don't have any account, please create one because we're gonna need it. So what are the technologies that we're going to use in this application? On the front end, we're going to use React definitely. For the UI, we're going to use Chakra UI, which is a UI framework. And for drag and drop feature, we're going to use a package called React Drop Zone. Then on the back end, we're going to use Node.js. And for our Node framework, we're going to use Fastify, which is pretty, pretty, pretty similar to Express. If you know Express, then you already know Fastify. So before you follow along with me, you need to have few basic understanding of these technologies. You need to have a basic understanding of JavaScript and React for the front end. You need to have a basic understanding of Node and Express or Fastify. I already have a video about Fastify. You can check that out. It will take about 30 minutes and you will be good to go. And also on the front end, if you know Chakra UI, then it will be useful. But if you don't know about Chakra UI, you can learn about it. I have a video about it. I will put the link on the description. So this will be a two part video series on the first part. I mean, today we are going to build the UI on the second day in the next video. We're going to build the backend. Then we're going to hook our front end with our backend app. So in two video, we're going to build this application. So if you are interested about building this application, 
please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more of this full stack tutorials. Alright, so I have talked enough, so without further ado, let's get started. By the way, I have already written a blog about it on my website. You can use this for your future reference. I will put the link on the description. Alright guys, so first of all, we need to create our directory. So mkdir, I'm gonna call it kills uploader dash yt. So let's cd into the folder. And now we need to create the react app. So I'm gonna use create react app just like I've told you. I'm gonna paste the command here. But before that, let me just quickly initialize this directory as a git repository. So git in it. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this because I want to push this code to GitHub. So git in it. And now it is a git repository. Now I'm just gonna paste the command here. npx create react app client. My app name will be client. You will find all of the commands on my blog. Just copy and paste them on your terminal. So let's create the app. Alright, so our React app is now ready. So let's cd into the client directory. And now we need to install some packages. I'm gonna paste the command here. We're going to install the Chakra UI packages. These are required for Chakra UI. And this is the React drop zone package for that drag and drop feature. And Axios is for making HTTP requests to our API endpoints. Okay, so these are the packages we need. So let's install them. Alright, so our packages are now installed. So let's open the app on our text editor. So let's first open up the index.js file. Now we don't need the CSS file. We don't need report web vitals. We don't need this. We need to import our chakra provider component from chakra UI in order to use chakra UI. So import from chakra dash ui slash react and we need to import chakra provider and let's wrap the app component by the chakra provider component okay so now let's open up the app.js file and i will delete everything from here Actually, I will rename this file to app.jsx instead of js. And now let's create a new component with rfc snippet. Okay, so now let's import a heading component from chakra UI to see if everything works or not. So instead of chakra provider, we're going to import heading. And let's add a heading here. And the heading will be queues uploader. So now let's run the server to see everything works or not. So just type npm start. And we don't have any error on the terminal. So let's go to the browser. And we have queues uploader printed out on the screen. Now I'm just going to move this tab to my editor workspace so that I can see what I am doing. I will resize the window. Okay, that looks good. So let's just add some style to this heading. So let's go to the heading component. Let's add font size. By the way, this font size prop is called a style prop in Chakra UI. Basically with style prop, you can add any kind of style, any kind of CSS property as a prop to the Chakra UI component. So font size, and the font size will be 5XL. Now 5XL is not a valid CSS value, it's value coming from the Chakra UI theme. And if you want to learn more about it, please check out my crash course. Then I want to make it align to the center and also I want to add some padding to top and bottom so PY for Y axis and the value will be 20 again it is coming from chakra UI theme all right so our heading is now done now we need to create an uploader component so I'm gonna create uh, another file here I'm gonna call it uploader.jsx 
and let's create another component and now let's import that component in our app.jsx file so import uploader from dot slash uploader and now let's insert that uploader component okay so here is the uploaded text so let's go to the uploader.jsx file first i need to import few things so i'm gonna paste the code here all right these are the components that we will need so let's first create a state const state name will be file and the default value will be an empty object let's just remove the div and let's add a box component box component is just a container nothing else and we have text component for text and we have image component and a button component and we have also imported the use drops and hook and axios from axios so let's first add box component and inside the box component we will add another box component we will add other things but let's leave them empty for now so let's add some style to the first box component we need to add margin so that's why mprop and margin will be zero and auto to move his children to the center and we will add max width to 50 rem then we will add width of 80 percent and inside the inner box component we will add an input element then we will add a text component i'm just gonna paste a text here the text is drag and drop some files or click to select files so now let's tell the inner box element let's make display grid then make place items to center then make min height of 15 rem border one pixel solid not solid dashed black now you can see that the text is not at the center because of this input element but don't worry we will fix it now so let's use the use drops and hook so use drop zone and we need to pass an object here we need to specify how many files we want at maximum so max files and the max files will be one and we need to specify that we only want to accept images so accept oops i've missed the comma accept will be images we only want to accept images you can specify some format of images using an array but i'm not gonna bother about it then we need to specify another function called on drop so on drop and let's create that function const on drop this use drop zone will return us an object and we need to destructure it and get some properties so const we need to get the get root props and get input props and then is drag active which will be a boolean value when we will try to drag anything then the is drag active value will be true this get root props and get input props are functions these functions will return us an object and we need to spread out that object to the parent component which is this box component and this input element so let's go to the box component and let's call the get root props function and we will spread out that object that returned object and same thing for the input element all right so you can see that the text is now at the center now we can display different text based on the is drag active value so is drag active is true then we want to specify release to drop the files here else we want to display drag and drop some files here 
Now let's click on this box. It opens up the file explorer. So let's try to drag and drop something. So I will go to my wallpapers directory. I have three images. So I will try to drag and drop images. So let's drag this to this box. And it says that release to drop the files here. I don't know if you are seeing this, the font size is small. So I will drop the image here. And you can see now the is drag active is false. It says drag and drop files here or click to select files. I can also just click on open. It will also work. Now we don't see the image right now because we haven't made a preview link. We will do this right now. So let's just go to this on drop function. This on drop function will take a parameter called files. Files is an array, an array of files. So we need to get the first element because we are only uploading a single file. So let's get the file. Actually, I shouldn't say files. I should call it accepted files. And now let's get our actual file object. So const file object accepted files zero index and let's console log file object and let's open up the console I will zoom it for you now let's drag and drop a file again and we have a file object printed out it has bunch of information like the path name size type and so on we want to create a preview link out of this object so we need to use the URL object. So const preview URL dot create object URL and we're going to pass the file object and let's console log the preview link. I will clear the console and let's upload again. And you can see we have a link here. We can use this link to preview the image. I'm going to store the file object and the preview link in our file state. But before that, I want to create a utility function so that we can work with the file state better. So let's create a function const set file state. This function will take a parameter called data and let's call the set file. We're going to pass a function as a value. This function takes previous data as parameter. So I'm going to call it priv and I will return an object. That object will be stored in the file state and inside that object, I will spread out the previous data and I will also add the new data. So now let's call this set file state function set file state and we're going to pass an object file object and preview. So now let's display the image. So inside this first box component, I will add a condition. We will check if file preview does exist or not. So if file dot preview exist, we want to display a component. We want to render a chakra image component that we have imported. So we want to add source source will be file dot preview I will pass an all prop empty and width will be 100% if the file dot preview is a falsy value then we want to display this uploader component okay so now let's try it I will drop this image and you can see that we have this image displayed on the screen and now we need to get the dimension of this image. So let's go to this on drop function. Let's create an image with the image constructor. So const image with new image and image dot source will be preview link. And we need to assign a function to the image dot onload property. So image dot onload. And we need to call the set file state function. We're going to pass an object width will be image dot width and height will be image dot height. So let's just console log the state. 
I will open up the console again. Let's refresh the page. Let's drop another picture. And we have this object. If I expand this, we have the file object. And then we have the height, the width, and the preview link. So let's delete the console log. Now we need to convert the file object, this file object, to a base64 string. A base64 string is just a giant string. And we will send this to our backend server. Our backend node server will send this to Cloudinary to store this as an image. So let's create a new file reader. So const file reader will be new file reader. Now we need to handle two more event on abort and on error. So reader dot onload. Sorry, not onload on abort and we will console log file reading was aborted and again actually it should not be reader it should be file reader then same thing for the on error so file reader dot on error will be console logging file reading has failed and now we need to call a method read as data url so file reader dot read as data url and we're gonna pass the file object and now we need to handle the onload event so file reader dot onload and we're gonna call the set file state function again pass an object and this time we're gonna pass base64 as a property and the value will be file reader dot result and let's just console log file dot base64 so let's refresh the page, drop an image again and you can see we have this huge string. It looks totally gibberish. You don't have to understand it. Nobody does. We will send this string to our backend endpoint. Okay, so let's remove this console log. Now I want to add two more button after this image. One will be for resetting the image. Another one will be for submitting the image. So let's create two more button after this uh, box. So button. First one will be reset. We'll copy this one. Another one will be submit. So we have this two button. And I also have to wrap these buttons inside a box element. So let's add some style to this box component. Let's add a SX prop. SX prop is another way to add custom styles in Chakra UI. So I want to make it display flex. Justify content to space around. Margin to the top will be one rem. Alright, so our buttons are now looking good. So let's add some on click handler. So on click for the reset button will be resetting the file state. So that will be pretty easy. So set file will be an empty object. So now if I click on this reset button, we should not see the image. And you can see we don't see the image. Now we need to and on click handler to the submit button and I'm gonna create a separate function for that function name will be handle submit and let's create the handle submit function so const handle submit not a handle upload handle submit I will put a try catch block here Let's get the data from file state const file. We want to get base64 height and width. So base64 height and width. And now we need to create a URL string. So const URL. I'm gonna leave it as just a forward slash. 
this URL will be the URL where we will send our HTTP request. So const axios.post actually this function will be an asynchronous function so axios.post and we need to pass the URL and as the request body we need to pass an object we're gonna pass source and the source will be page 64 and then height and width and Axios will give us an object and we need to destructure the data property from that object and also we need to await this process now let's handle the error if any kind of error happens we're gonna console log that so console log error dot response dot data dot message and also we're gonna console log the data now this handle submit function will do nothing this this will cause an error because there is no api endpoint we haven't built the node server so we are not gonna use this submit function yet but when we will really submit this function we want to disable these buttons okay so we need to create another state so const is uploading is uploading will be the state name and set is uploading and the default value will be false so when we will click on submit we want to first set the state is uploading to true so set is uploading to true and also if any kind of error happens we wanna make the is uploading state to false I will copy this one and I will paste it here we also want to set is uploading to false when we will get the response. So we want to disable these two buttons based on the state. So let's add a prop disable and we want to set a boolean value. So we're going to pass is uploading and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So let's try to drag and drop another picture and if I click on reset the image disappears let's click on it again let's select another image let's click on submit you can see uh, the button doesn't get disabled let's open up the console we have an error it says the server responded with the status of 404 not found because the URL is not valid we will not see the disable button functionality right now we will see that after we have created the node server which we will do in the next video so if you have already enjoyed today's video please consider like this video and subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you don't miss the next video all right stay safe i'll see you in the next video goodbye